Hey guys, before we get started, I just want to give a couple shout outs. The first is a channel called Is This Good Content? The host is this Australian girl named Casey. Um, she commented on my Turtles All the Way Down video. Um, so I clicked over to her channel and she does movie reviews and she reviewed Turtles All the Way Down and I just love it. Her videos are really well done. So check out Casey. Um, she's trying to hit 50 subscribers before Halloween. So if I would definitely recommend subscribing her. I really enjoy her videos. And then the second is Parables of the Film Industry. My friend Ned from the New Catholic Generation has his own channel. He and I reviewed Logan together. Um, and he's doing this like Halloween fest where he reviewed all 12 of the Friday the 13th movies. Um, he has this new series he's doing called The Valley of Death. And he has some more of those coming out. Um, he reviewed both of the It movies. Um... And yeah, he just, he makes great content. So definitely check out Parables of the Film Industry and Is This Good Content. The links will be in the description and I hope you like the video. Thanks. Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to talk about something that I'm really passionate about and that's movie soundtracks. Today I'm going to be talking about my top five movie soundtracks um, and as a musician and a movie lover, I definitely have specific tastes. Um, and so this is just my favorite five. The first is Dan in Real Life. This is my favorite film of all time and the soundtrack is just incredible. You know, it's guitars and a little bit of trumpet. Um, Sondra Lerke was the, he wrote all the music and performed it and it was just incredible. You have to check it out. My second favorite is from the movie Begin Again, starring Keira Knightley and Mark Ruffalo. Please don't say uh, this movie came out a few years Just ago, and I remember the theater was showing it for free, and my dad's like, hey, let's go see this, and my dad absolutely loved this movie. He loved Keira Knightley in it, um, and I keep finding myself going back to the soundtrack again, a lot of acoustic guitars, just raw vocals you can feel the passion and the stories these songs are telling they're not just top 40 chart songs um i really don't have a taste for pop and these first two movies definitely have like an indie folksy feel to them the third movie is called about time it stars rachel mcadams and it's a romantic comedy about a guy who can travel back in time just like a family thing um, and I just love the instrumental theme. It's this beautiful piano theme, but it also features The Luckiest by Ben Folds. Um, I absolutely love the song Mid Air by Paul Buchanan. It's just like amazing. And then they have When I Fall in Love um, by covered by Barbara Goff. Goff? Um, and it's just like, I love it. I listened to this soundtrack before bed. Um, it's very calming. The third soundtrack is from The Lake House. I'm very sure oh my gosh, I love this movie again. Time Traveling Romance featuring Sandra Bullock and Keanu Reeves. Um, and this is just such a, It's hard for me to describe, but the songs all have their own style. There's like a jazzy piano song that's like light jazz but then um it also has never happened before by paul mccartney um it's got too late by carol king which is like songs that really stand out to me and they really aid the story you know sometimes movie soundtracks and scores are just kind of in the background but like this soundtrack definitely helps tell the story um and then last of all is the soundtrack to The Fault in Our Stars. I used to listen to this soundtrack on repeat. I listened to it so much before I even saw the movie. Um, I just love, I love it. You guys know I covered like 
four or five of the songs on this channel, Not About Angels by Birdie, um, yeah, So Long Way Down by Tom O'Dell, All I Want by Codaline, Never, No One Ever Loved by Light Kay Lee, Not About Angels by Birdie, just like all these awesome songs simple as it as this by jake bug like again that indie feel a lot of guitar piano and i just i love it it's awesome and i love the film of course and yeah these are my top favorite my top five favorite film soundtracks honorable mentions go to shrek 2 the very first movie soundtrack i ever bought incredible over the Hedge, Ben Folds did all the music. How can you not love that? Um, and what else? The soundtrack to Prince of Egypt and Hunchback of Notre Dame. Really, I should just do like an animated favorites because most of the Disney soundtracks like really mean a lot to me, but particularly Prince of Egypt and Hunchback of Notre Dame, like incredible soundtracks. So yeah, that's all from me. Let me know in the comments um, what are some of your favorite movie soundtracks. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.